Hello again, everyone. It's time to continue our lesson, the present perfect. Last time we started and I explained to you uh, when we use the present perfect and different usages and the uh, uh, keywords. We have two other keywords left. They're so important. You might find them in lots of questions. Now I'm going to share you with you a PowerPoint presentation to explain to you these two uh, keywords. Let's start. Okay. These two keywords are since and for. Let's see when do we use them and how. Okay. We often use for and since when we talk about time. So they have a relation with time. They're related to time. For, number one, let's start with for. We use for when we are talking about a duration or a period of time. Let's say five minutes, two weeks, a year, an hour, six years. Okay, so this is a duration of time. We use for when we talk about a duration of time or a period of time. For means from the beginning of the action to the end of the period of the time. So the beginning time till the period of time ends. We use for here in this situation. For example, I haven't cooked for a week. The last time I cooked was a week ago. Excellent. Since, since we use it with the starting time of an action, since nine o'clock, since the 1st of January, since Monday, and so on. We use since when we talk about the starting time of the action, when the action started, the breaking time or the starting time. Since means from the starting point in the past until now. For example, I haven't cooked since Sunday. The last time I cooked was on Sunday. So that was the starting time of me not cooking. Okay. For, we use it with a period of time, from, um, a period from the start to the end, the whole period of time. For 20 minutes, for three years, or for, for three days, for four years, for two centuries, for a long time, forever. And since for uh, the starting point or up till now, since 9 a.m., since Monday, since January, since 1997, since I left school, since the beginning of time. Okay. If we want to ask a question, they come in uh, in uh, sense and four come in affirmative sentences. If you want to form a question asking about this period of time or the starting time for sense and four, we use the how long. We use how long. We use how long to form questions asking about time. Let's see how do we form a question. We have a sentence like this. I've known Tina for ages. Now you have four ages underlined and they want you to form a question. So we're going to use Excellent. How long? And of course, the question will be in the present perfect because the answer is in the present perfect. How long have you known Tina? I have lived in Alexandria since I was born. How are we going to form the question? The underlined part is since I was born. So they are asking about the starting point or this time. They're asking about the time. So we're going to use how long and we'll use it in the present perfect because the answer is in the present perfect. How long have you lived in Alexandria? And so on. Now we're going to talk about something different. Have and has been or have and has gone. Let's see what's the difference between been and gone. Okay, let's see this family. Has or have gone to. We use has or have gone to say that someone went somewhere and is still there. So this person is still in the place, okay? They haven't come back yet. 
They have gone to Disneyland. They are still there. They haven't come back yet. Have or has been to. To say that someone went somewhere, but he or she has come back. Example, she has been to France twice. She went to France, but she's back. She's not there anymore. Okay, she had lots of shopping. Okay, this was the end of my presentation. So uh, small, but it's time to practice. So we're going to uh, use our booklet to practice some questions about since and for. Okay, it's in page 15. The first exercise in the present perfect is for since and for. Fill in with since or for. Remember, since we use it with the starting time and for we use it with the duration of time. Okay, I've been here two hours. Want to use since or for? Uh, is it the starting time or a duration of time? Think. Excellent, it's a duration of time. So I've been here exactly for two hours. Okay, I've been here one o'clock. One o'clock is excellent, the starting time. So it would be since the one o'clock or the starting time, which is one o'clock. We haven't met one month. One month is excellent, a period of time. So for one month, could be a month. Okay, we haven't met Christmas. Christmas is the starting point. Excellent. So we're going to use since. Okay, one more. You've been watching TV. You came home from school. You came home from school is the excellent, the starting time of the action. So it's going to be since. Okay. You've been watching TV most of the evening. Most of the evening is the whole period of time. Okay, so it's going to be for most of the evening. And so on, you're going to continue the uh, part, the, the exercise here. I hope you understood the lesson and we'll meet in another video soon. Thank you very much for your uh, for listening, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Goodbye.